Hi, this is Steph. I'll be demoing the visual editor feature. We're looking at a sample flowchart. In the lower left corner here is a menu with three icons. The first icon unlocks or enables the feature. Second icon creates a new node. This is available when the feature is enabled and a light bulb icon to bring up a cheat sheet. I'll start by unlocking or enabling the feature by clicking on this icon. We'll see a toast message alerting the user that the feature will prettify their code and then a visual indicator here with the circle grid. We'll start by creating a new node by clicking on this icon. You can see my new node has been created. If I don't want this node or any node, I can click on the node to bring up this delete node option. Click on it, deletes the node. So right clicking on any node will bring up this option and right clicking on any of these edges will bring up the delete edge option. Let's say I do want a new node and I wanna click connect this node to an existing node. So I can click on it, drag it to whichever node I wanna connect it to. Let's say the start one, release my mouse and you'll see these new nodes are now connected. Let's say I actually don't wanna connect them. I'm gonna delete this edge and my two nodes are now disconnected. And let's say I just don't want this node at all. I'll just go ahead and delete. Okay, to edit each individual node, go ahead and click on it. Brings up a menu with some options. The first option changes the shape of the node. I can hover over any of these options, get the tooltip. That's nice if I don't know the name of the shape. So let's say I wanna change this no to a double circle. I'll go ahead and click on it and you can see my node has been changed and I want to change the border type to maybe this dashed one and maybe the border color so um, each of these panels has the title. I'll change this to purple and the background color to light purple and the text to blue. There's my lovely node. I can do the same for the edge. So click on it, brings up a menu First one changes the arrow, maybe I want this one. And I want to change the stroke to maybe this dashed one. And maybe edge color is blue. If I want to change the label of the node, I'll double click, brings up this modal, and I can click enter in some text, hit save, and my node label has been updated. Do the same for the label, let's say test, save, you see that that's been updated. Um, I can also connect any existing node to another existing node. Let's say I want to connect these two. You can see this has been updated. I'm just change this to maybe red. All of these changes that are happening in the visual editor um, also get reflected in the code editor side as well. So you can make any of these changes. Let's say this stroke is this color and I want to change it to like white. You can see my white node here. I want to change it to black. Um, I can do that. So that's like, that's a re really nice thing. Let's say you just don't like the shade of red that I've picked out. So you can go ahead in here and find it in the code and then change it. Okay, let's say um, there's something that I want to do and I just don't know how I can bring up this cheat sheet. Each cheat sheet has a card. Each card has a topic, very brief description, and a link. These links go to a respective section in the doc site, um, which I've started to flesh out here. I'll be adding additional screenshots and more details, but this is nice for the user to get more information about the visual editor features or uh, I should say the options within the visual editor feature. Um, I think I've covered everything. If there's anything that I missed or if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching, have a great night.